Hey, uh, today we're going to make our Hello World project in Eclipse for PhoneGap. I'm assuming everyone has um, PhoneGap and Eclipse configured correctly. Um, if not, please email me. Uh, the first thing we should do is go to our Eclipse folder and open Eclipse. Okay, once we're open in Eclipse, we're going to go to our Android Virtual Device Manager and start our virtual device. Um, the reason why we're going to open it now is because it takes about 10 minutes to load up sometimes. And uh, by the time we uh, import our project, it should be done. Um, the next thing we're going to do is find our path to PhoneGap. Mine is in the C drive, PhoneGap. Click lib, Android, and bin. You're going to click the breadcrumb trail, copy. Go to command prompt. You're going to change directory, which is CD. Paste. Now we're in the bin directory of Android. We're going to type create, which creates a project. My first is the project name, com.3cpt373.cpt three three cpt which is just semantics for PhoneGap. They want you to have um, either org or com as a you know domain extension plus two names, so we're just going to randomly select two names and then our folder name which is my first oh I already created a project so we're going to do create my first my second com.cpt373 and my second okay now it's there. We're going to go to back to Eclipse, file, new project, Android project from existing code, press browse, and we're going to go back to our PhoneGap folder, lib, Android, bin. And I'm going to get my second. Finish. Okay, the virtual device is ready. Um, like I said before, there's some problems with PhoneGap off the bat, so we have to go into the Android Manifest XML. Um, try not to change too much because these are defaults that PhoneGap sends to Java to make um, PhoneGap work in HTML. So. All we're going to do is change Android min SDK version from 7 and we're going to change it to 8. And then we're going to go to project, properties, Android, and change 2.1 to 3.2. Press OK. And click the little save button and we should be OK. Let's try to compile it. Right click the project, run as Android application. See what happens. Unlock my phone. And see if it installs. Okay, and this is the default project that PhoneGap gives you. Um, they have some code in here that alerts the device when it's ready and um, then outputs it onto the screen. So let's see what we have here. Uh, we're going to go to the assets folder, www, and an index. Right click index, open with text editor 
we're going to delete everything in here save and we're going to go to the CSS folder open with text editor um, And we're just going to delete everything. And we're going to type body. We're going to type HTML. Padding 0. Margin 0. Height 100%. Width 100%. and the same thing for the body um, if you don't know what these styles mean don't worry I'm gonna go over it later I'm just trying to make a default project right now um, and then we're gonna open up the tutorial that we did uh, online and we're gonna copy and paste the whole thing Save and we're gonna run. Okay, it just takes a minute. And this is our project from uh, the class that we did in Chrome browser. Um, as you can see, there's no style and it looks bad, but don't worry, we're gonna fix that. Um, so this is your Hello World project. Thank you.